say fellow Floridian and Barry Horowitz as we get action underway here in the GWF. Still to come, remember the big main event as the Latin heartthrob Al Perez goes against the big man from Las Vegas in the Soul Taker. There you see Barry Horowitz followed by primetime Brian Lee standing over six foot four inches tall, 280 pounds out of Orlando, Florida. Barry Horowitz, a former Florida heavyweight champion, beating Kendall Windham for that honor. But the fans here firmly behind the man known as Primetime. Size advantage would have to go to Lee in this particular matchup. Although Horowitz, one of those quote, wily veterans you hear about. A lot of people have been asking me why he pats himself on the back before every match. So a question we're definitely gonna have to get Bonnie Blackstone to ask. Her fans question and answer still to come on this edition. Using the tights, Horowitz backs Lee into the ropes and follows it up with a forearm. James Beard warning Horowitz about that. Leapfrog by Lee, step over by Horowitz, leapfrog by Lee, step over by Horowitz, and oh, Horowitz. No, I don't think so. Prime time. Boom. Horowitz going to try some more, and the hip toss takes him up high and over the arm grab. Follows it up. Brian Lee, a man known mostly for tag team experience, has held many tag team titles. Once a member of the then infamous stud stable with Robert Fuller. Now on his own looking for singles gold. Pull the hair. Horowitz claiming a pull of the hair. Lee says, I don't think so to James Beard. And from what I saw and from what the rest of the Global Dome fans saw, we don't think it was a pull of the hair. But James Beard warning nonetheless and provoking Brian Lee may not be something you'd want to do, but watch out. The right connects two times to the bridge of the nose. Horowitz follows it up with the forearm. Now the uppercut. Snapmare takes prime time down. Now rolling neck breaker. I'm the best wrestler alive and you know it. Horowitz thinking very highly of himself. Using the knee lift there, rake of the back. Horowitz now using the bad boy boot. Ryan Lee may not want to take too much more of this. Bye bye! Double underhook suplex. As Barry Horowitz says bye bye, but only gets a count of one to the big man. Looks like prime time's getting his second win. Series of rights. Irish whip into the rope. Misses with a clothesline. And Horowitz comes off the ropes using the velocity. Gets the clothesline of his own. Now, goes to work on the jaw and possibly the teeth. Horowitz very high on himself. And quite frankly, he's had the advantage during most of this match. There you see the pat on the back. Very confident, the man from Florida. Lee trying to come back with a series of lefts to the body, stopped by a headbutt by Horowitz. Horowitz picks 280 pounds up, sends him down, great finds the leg, but only gets a count of one. Horowitz standing drop kick, sends Lee back into the ropes. And now, schoolboy roll up, gets a count of one before Lee's able to kick out. The whip, but nobody home. Horowitz went for the drop kick. Brian Lee using the brain, holding on to the ropes, and now Horowitz isn't too anxious to mix it up, but Brian Lee is. Series of rights. 
to the chop. Irish whip into the corner, comes up, gets the clothesline. Prime time, doing quite well. Roundhouse right as Horowitz goes down. And Horowitz pleading, saying, yeah, I've had enough. Prime time thought better of the handshake. Sends Horowitz into the ropes. High back drop. Horowitz came down on the upper back there. And now trying to escape. Bad boy Barry Horowitz. Sleeve. Power slam. That may not be enough for prime time. Up to the middle rope. Takes a step up onto the top. Comes down with a knee across the throat. It's prime time. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Brian Lee.